Pretty impressive time to check in with Dave on Stormwatch again. Yeah, the storm is blasting into California as we speak, and already we're starting to see a few signs that it's coming in. An uh, well, interesting day today. We started out with the clouds. We had a few flurries of snow in some of the mountains, and then a dry, slot air came in. We ended the day almost completely clear across the state. Now we're starting to see a little bit of rain, a little bit of snow start to move in the Four Corners area. That's just the leading push of this storm that's headed our way. Right now, it's really raining a lot across uh, California. Arizona and Utah. There's actually two systems coming together. This high is sliding out here. Now we've got a little disturbance right here that blasted the clouds through Colorado today, rained on New Mexico. Now we're seeing another wave of rain going through Las Vegas all the way out to Utah here, ahead of the system, which is still offshore out there in California. Now this is a Pacific system. It's been hanging out out here. It's been warm. It's gathering up moisture. It's not from the Arctic by any stretch. So when it rolls through, there's going to be some rain mixed with snow, a lot of melting going on. Not going to be a real cold system and you can see there's a lot of green mixed in with the white as it moves through. The green is the rain, the white and the blue is the snow. But once it arrives in the four corners uh, tomorrow morning about 7 o'clock, there's the snow in the mountains and for Denver up to Fort Collins, maybe a little light rain snow mix start to develop during the morning rush hour and it's not till late morning into the noon hour that that starts to really change over to snow around here and then by about 3 or 4 o'clock it starts to move on out of here and we start to clear out by tomorrow night. So not only is it warm, but it's a very fast moving storm that'll blast through. One area that might get hard hit with this are the mountains above 8,500 feet down here in the San Juans, the Uncompagre Plateau, and the Grand Mesa up here. Six to 12 inches of snow possible there tonight into tomorrow. And that's where all of that moisture coming in tonight will hit, and then the low follows that up tomorrow morning. Meantime, around here, we're looking for about an inch of snow in the Denver metro area. A lot of that's going to be on the grassy areas as well. But, and, in addition to that, there will be a little rain, so there will be wet roads all around the city. 48 was our high at the airport today and 56 downtown. Nice day in the city. We did melt a lot of snow today. It's 43 out there right now with a southeast wind at 7. Now, our lows tonight, of course, a cold night will drop into the 20s around the northeastern part of the state and highs tomorrow. A lot of 40s getting in on the mix as that system comes through and cools everybody down statewide. Not an Arctic front, but we'll see temperatures drop. So clear early overnight clouds tonight will be close to freezing for the overnight low around 31 in the city. Tomorrow, close to 40 for the high temperature. Morning rain, snow mixed up, and then a few midday flurries coming our way. Then we clear out Friday to 46, 58 on Saturday, breezy and 54 on Sunday, and then the next chance of light snow comes in on Monday with a high of only 36. So a little moisture tomorrow morning, so you will have to slow down just a little bit for the commute. Slow down. Okay, if you say so. No, not as, so. You can do it, Jim. You can do it. I don't know. Thanks, Dave. You can try. Well, kind of a new beginning now for the CSU Rams. Yeah, coming up in sports, we are going back to Fort Collins.